All right, here we are at Home Depot. Today's project is at one of the rental properties. Someone has had an accident, ran into the power pole, and they caught the mailbox while they were at it. So we need to install a mailbox. So we'll look at the property in a minute. So here's our choices. None of which I have a preference over, although I'm going with that one because it's the cheapest. Bottom right, always the cheapest. Okay, here's what I don't like. The install on all of them has you... has you installing into concrete. Not interested. Not interested. Let's see. I'll see. Alright, same there. Not interested in that install. So, Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy the cheapest in-ground steel mailbox paste. Okay? And then, I'm going to go over to the fence department and buy another one of these pastes. Because this one is going to be... That one's going to be two feet long and you're going to have to connect it. As you see, one part, two part connected. I'm not interested in that. So I'm going to go buy another paste that's four feet long. We're just going to pile drive it in the ground and install the mailbox. Should make life a lot easier. Let's go check it out. All right, actually, this might be a little bit easier than I was expecting. So here we have, once again, the cheapest paste you can possibly get for your mailbox. It's two inch diameter galvanized steel. So you come over here to the fence department, check it out. Right here you have one and five eighths inch galvanized steel lined, which is what, um, I mean, hell, it's, it's what, six feet, it's five feet. Here it is, so check this out. All we need is a pile driver. They'll have those here, but I already have one. So you're gonna need one of these. See that red thing? You're gonna take that. Okay, you're going to use that to pound this in, all right, and then should be able to install this right on top of that, just like that, put the mailbox on top, and then take a little spray paint and paint the bottom. Maybe drill a hole right through there. Oh, there's already a hole, how about that? So I'll drill a hole, put a screw, all right. That'll be it, we'll come back. All right, so we haven't made it to the property yet, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, get this thing put together. So when I get to the property, it won't take very long. Okay, so what I've done is, I've taken the post over here, but only the top half, which is this, okay? I went ahead and put the base together, which is, which that fits on the bottom of the mailbox. So, This goes on the bottom, just like that, pow. So that goes like that, up and there. Then I will just go pound this pole in, you see. So I'll just pound the pole in, drop this on there, screw a little hole into the galvanized pole here, and then I'll run a, a bolt through there just to make sure this doesn't spin. And should be pretty easy, so basically. So a car destroyed the mailbox. This project should cost under $60. So it should be less than 60 bucks for the mailbox, the mailbox paste, and then the fence paste, which then you can just take some black spray paint and paint that black. But we finally have arrived at the property. So here's the property, lots of leaves. All right, so the car accident would have happened. Car coming this way. And then it looks like they might have, who knows, whatever, come right through here and then destroy the, the mailbox. As you see, there's the part, the old mailbox. So here's my little mailbox kit that I've put together. That, that part, 
than just my galvanized fence paste, which I have drilled a few holes on right there so that we can attach the mailbox and make sure it doesn't spin around. All right, so we'll get it cut up and take a picture. That's it. Pretty simple, hopefully it works. I think he can reach out and make that work. Uh, we'll see. All right, so that's uh, 60 bucks. We'll see what happens.